The Beauty of Humility Matthew chapter 23 verse 12 But whoever exalts himself will be humble, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. In this chapter, Jesus strongly criticizes the religious leaders of his time, calling them hypocrites and warning his followers not to follow their example. He condemns their pride, arrogance, and love for power and recognition. Jesus emphasizes the importance of humility, sincerity, and genuine love for others. He concludes by expressing his sorrow for the city of Jerusalem and its people due to their rejection of him as the Messiah. And today, I want to share an encouraging devotional message based on Matthew 23 verse 12. This verse holds a powerful lesson that resonates with all of us. It says, For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. In this fast-paced and competitive world, we often find ourselves striving for recognition and success. We desire to be seen, admired, and celebrated in our endeavors. We yearn for the spotlight, for our achievements to be acknowledged and praised. However, Jesus teaches us a different way, a way of humility. Humility is not about thinking less of ourselves or lacking confidence. Rather, it is a posture of the heart that recognizes our dependence on God and the value of others. It is acknowledging that our abilities, talents, and achievements are gifts from above not merely products of our own efforts. When we humble ourselves, we let go of our pride and ego. We no longer seek glory and attention for ourselves, but instead we focus on serving and uplifting others. We become more understanding, compassionate, and willing to lend a helping hand. The beauty of humility lies in its upside-down logic. When we stop striving to exalt ourselves and start embracing humility, something incredible happens. God notices our selflessness and rewards it in ways we cannot comprehend. The very things we were hoping for, recognition, success, and honor, often come to us in unexpected and surprising ways. We find true fulfillment and contentment in putting others before ourselves. So let us take these words of Jesus to heart. Let us be humble in our actions and attitudes. Instead of constantly seeking to be lifted up, let us lift others up. Let us celebrate their successes, encourage their strengths, and support them in their struggles. In doing so, we will experience a joy that surpasses any temporary acclaim. Remember, it is not in our striving for greatness that we find fulfillment but in our willingness to humbly serve others. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, may we embrace this powerful message and make it the guiding principle of our lives. Help us to set aside our pride and self-centeredness and instead humbly serve others with genuine love and compassion. May we find joy in lifting others up and find peace in honoring you above all else. Amen.